Zen Technologies has indigenously designed. A very short range air defense missile simulator, which can be used to train the operators in firing drills, without actually firing the live missiles. This simulator is based on virtual reality technology with high resolution, graphics and sound. It can be customized for all the existing charade missiles available in the world, working on the principles of IA. The unique feature of this simulator is that it can operate both under classroom conditions and outside under field conditions. This system is man-portable, compact, modular, lightweight, rugged and easy to operate. Now let us see the main components of this simulator. Simulator set mounted on a stand. Instructor control panel. Instructor control station. Tough pad. Camera fitted inside the launching tube. Generator for power supply. Dynamically simulated aircraft. Launching tube for recoil action, sound and flash. The overall layout of the training station will look like this. Besides the hardware its software performs multiple functions of generating synthesized 3D targets creating unlimited emissions by choosing various parameters like range, height, speed, trajectory, type and number of targets. It can select various types of terrains and the environmental conditions to bring in realism with actual combat conditions. The software calculates the launch zone, the various distances and timings to enable after actual review of the multiple engagements by the operator. Ah, this simulator has been designed to operate indoors in various modes of operation. These modes of operation are synthetic targets and synthetic terrains, synthetic targets and custom terrains, synthetic targets and real terrain, dynamically similar aircraft and real terrain, live targets and real terrain, psychological and physiological training. Synthetic targets and synthetic terrain. Instructor can select different types of targets and different terrains through the software. Various environmental conditions like rain, fog and snow can also be selected by the instructor. Synthetic terrains. Mountain. Desert, range, rocky, urban, weather conditions, rain, fog, snow. Let us see the engagement procedure. As soon as the target is seen by the operator, on the video screen he aligns the sight with the target and moves the percussion lever to extreme position. Simulating uncaging of IRHH. As soon as the operator hears the buzzer sound and indication of light he presses the trigger. In manual mode he will keep the trigger in the mid position for 0.5 seconds before pressing it the extreme position. However in auto mode he will directly press the trigger to extreme position. The missile is launched and can be seen as the video screen following the Synthetic target before destruction. Synthetic targets and custom terrain. In this mode you can feed any terrain, as per the training requirements, and carry out the engagement exercise. The engagement drill remains the same. Synthetic targets and real terrain. 
This mode is used for giving training to operators in actual terrain condition. The terrain is captured by the camera. Synthetic target is superimposed against the background of the real terrain. The engagement drill remains the same as in mode 1. Dynamically similar aircraft and real terrain. In mode 4, the tough pad is shifted to the other side of the tube to facilitate engagement of the real target through the sight by naked eye of the operator. The dynamically similar aircraft fitted with the GPS is flown with the parameters and trajectory designed by the ground station, live targets and real terrain. In mode 5, the tough pad is shifted to the other side of the tube to facilitate engagement of the real target through the sight by naked die of the operator. The target is picked up by the camera and telescopic lenses fitted inside the launch tube. The engagement drill remains the same as described in mode 1. However the data of the target flying autonomously is not available to calculate its range, height and speed for after action reviews. Psychological and Physiological Training A separate simulator tube is designed which is a booster attached to it. As per the firing drill once the trigger is pressed the recoil action flash and sound is simulated to give the actual feel of firing the missile to the operator. We will now show you conduct of a training exercise by an instructor. The instructor opens the login page. He now selects the training mode for the exercise. In this case he has selected mode 1 I.E synthetic target and synthetic terrain. He will now feed the particulars of the trainee and selects the terrain. He start exercise with pre-fed target parameters available in the library. These parameters can also be dynamically selected and changed as per requirement of training. Then he loads the exercise and can also feed the environmental settings. The operator tries to identify and engage the target through the site. As soon as he picks up the target he uncages IRHH with the help of percussion lever and continues to lay on the target. The moment he hears the buzzer sound and light indication he presses the trigger and fires the missile after action review will give the complete analysis of the engagement including the faults committed by the operators as a sample of after action review report the various details of engagement along with the timings and faults committed are shown on the screen designed to train operators for classroom as well as field conditions performance in manipulated air synthesized target environment gives a very good opportunity to the operators to be trained against time under various terrain and weather conditions training outside under field conditions enables realism by capturing actual conditions of troop deployments Layout of vulnerable points like airfields, logistic nodes etc. The software based analysis of performance in terms of various timings and distance and faults committed makes this simulator a very good training aid. The architecture of the software of this simulator has been kept open for adaptation to any other charade missile system in the world.